Hey Logo Designers, this is Michael from Logo Package, and today I wanted to give you a live uncut demonstration of just how quickly and easily you can export logos into a Logo Package using Logo Package Express. So you can see that I have the extension window open on the right, and I'm going to start by setting the primary version of my logo. So I will make a selection and come over to the extension and click Set Component in the Logo Component window. This is going to take the artwork and create a new document in the same color mode and with artwork the same size as your final document. You can see we've automatically recolored the logo to be in all of the different color schemes that we want. Now I can set the other components of this logo individually. So I'm going to select the logo mark and click set component there. And it's going to do the same thing of recoloring this component. Then I'm going to select the logo type and set that in the logo type window. Each one of these components can be renamed to anything you want. So if I want to call the logo mark icon instead, I can just change that in the extension window here and you'll see it updates as well. Now I'm going to add another variation of this logo. So we have this sort of horizontal version but I can add as many different layouts and variations as I want. So I'll click the add component button and now I'm going to make the vertical logo and I can come back to any open document and set more artwork. So I'm going to select this vertical version, click set component, and now I will have all of the different variations that I want. But maybe I want to add some color variations as well. So I'm going to come to the colors tab and I'm going to add a color scheme. I will choose from the color swatches this teal version and click OK because maybe I want an entirely teal version of the logo as well. I will change the name of that to teal and I can also change the background color for these color schemes. So I'll make this black and now I think I'm ready to export. So I will click the export logos button and I will just choose a name of logo demo. And then I choose the folder that I want this to be exported to. I've already got that set up, so I'll click open. And then I decide if I want print logos, web logos, or both. I've decided both, so I'm ready to export. Print logos are going to be the first logos that get exported because that was the artwork color mode that I had set up from my original artwork. So you can see now that we are processing the logos and that we have an export status indicator going. And if I look at the finder window, I will see that all of these file formats are being exported to the logo package folder and new folders are being created with these files inside of them. Since these are print logos, the settings that I had were to export Illustrator files and PDF files, but you can also export EPS files and even JPEGs for the print format. So we're going to go through and process all of the logos in all of the different sizes that you've set up and apply any padding that you have added. All of, thing, all of these things are possible through the settings but we have now processed these logos and we can see that there are many many logo files that have been exported and foldered and they are using a nice file naming convention and folder structure so now we are ready to move on to the web logos so i'll click export again and we have changed the document color mode to rgb to export these web files and the file formats that are available for export in the web package are Illustrator files, JPEGs, PNGs, and SVGs. So I've selected all of those for export and that is what is currently being processed. If we go back and look at the folder that these logos are being exported into, you can see we now have a for web folder and a for print folder. And you might notice that some of these files have strange names. They get exported this way because it is part of our process, but 
they will immediately be renamed to the file naming convention that you have set up in the settings of Logo Package Express. So once we are done exporting all of these logos, the screen will update and tell us that we have finished our export and it will give us some options for what to do next. So that is going to happen very soon here. So I'll come back to Illustrator and you will see that the status indicator finishes and it changes to a screen that tells us we're done with our logo package. So that was how quickly and easy it is to export with Logo Package Express. These options here are the ability to upload the logos to the Logo Package portal or reset the extension for another use. Maybe you have another logo project that you're working on. So all of this happens very quickly and it took under five minutes for us to make a very robust Logo Package using Logo Package Express. Thanks for watching.